Sisters Falling by Andrea Cubas. Painted at the lower falls of Tecumemnon Falls State Park in Michigan. So obviously I'm not Andrea. I'm her husband Andrew. We're trying something different today because she's unable to record right now because she's furiously painting downstairs. So I'm going to try to come and substitute in for her. So how did we find this place? Well, three years ago, we were, went to Sault Ste. Marie for like a little getaway, which if you're like me, you're like, why would you go to Sault Ste. Marie for a little getaway? But it turned out to be quite a pleasant trip. Yeah, a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. And so we're in our hotel one day and we have like this big, the big rack of brochures of what to do in the area. So we found one of these brochures and we're like, well, let's go try this place out. So it's about an hour and change west of of Sault Ste. Marie, and uh, we went there, and it was gorgeous. So we have these falls here, and there's also like an upper uh, upper falls, much much larger, and uh, we don't have any pictures of that because it was it's a little hard to get to. Um, because yeah, basically where our campsite was, you had to have a car or something to get there, because it was uh, it's a bit of a hike. So if you're looking at the falls, you'll see kind of when Andrew gets to it a little bit later on. The falls looking at to your right, if you follow that around, there's an actual an actual uh, path and I, I hiked that. And it's about uh, 10 miles round trip. So, and the first mile is really, uh, it's kind of hard because <laughs> as soon as you leave the falls, it looks like you're on a nice, can be paved, really close to the water. No, 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 no. Why would that be a thing? You have to go up hills and down hills. That first mile is a killer. Um, just because of the, it's not so much the height, it's a lot of, I found a lot of the roots, it's a lot of roots stick out. And so you have, if you need really good footwear to hike it. And then especially that first mile, there's some narrow, there's some narrow uh, paths that are go close to the water and it's, the water is super shallow. So you have to be, kind of be careful if you guys ever try to do something like that. But it's it's a pretty nice hike if you can, if you can get around to doing it. The Upper Falls is cool too because not only do you have these big falls, they actually have, I don't know if it's like a private thing, I would assume it's a private thing. They have a huge pavilion, it's got a restaurant, it's even got a, it's got a really nice restaurant actually, and uh, a craft beer place. So those, those of you guys who are into that kind of thing, kind of like I am, it was, uh, it was a, a spectacular treat to find, let me tell you. So you guys can see here where Andrea was, compared to our campsite it's about a little less than a mile hike and her big problem was getting the wagon through it because again going from where we were to the lower falls it, there's two paths you can take and she took the lesser of two eagles for these paths because the first one you go around it's it's really again really rooty and really craggy and stuff and this one is less rooty but there's a lot of like there's like stairs random stairs and couple like really big ascents and descents so it uh, it was a bit of a bit of a challenge for her, especially getting that wagon across but so it took her a while to get out there and then you can see she's wearing a sweater and it's like almost the end of June July so it's really it was actually very chilly out there there was a couple nights that were freezing out there but that's like during the time where we didn't have our uh, our AC broke and it wasn't working so we we're kind of like, lucky that way but there's some really chilly mornings there. And so she's on this freaking this, this outcropping that overlooks the lake. And you won't really be able to see it because of the angle of the camera, but if, straight basically straight ahead of her and down is there's, there's an island. And you could actually take a boat, which is probably just kinda, if you're looking over where she's looking, straight down there's actually where the boat launches and you can take the rowboat across the island and you can walk around the island. The water is so shallow by the falls, two people are just walking in it, and uh, even by the currents. So I don't know if I don't know if they're just doing that, if it's allowed, or because people are doing it, no one was stopping them. But I don't know if it's like legit allowed because I mean, it, the currents I mean, you're by a waterfall, right? So you have to be kind of careful with that. So take that how you will. So you can see, like as we zoom in here, she's got like a bunch of first layers done, and now she's trying to get the. Um, the left falls so it's actually like these are like the two bigger parts of the lower falls but if you kind of go around the back 
and follow the path around the back. There's like a couple smaller, like little kind of drops. And as you kind of go farther past, like on the hike that I did on the um, on the path, you'll see like there's, there's rat like a lot of drops before it smooths out into the uh, into like the smooth like river water. So it actually it's it's pretty. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, I don't know, rapids is the right word, but it's kind of like the best word to use right now. So rapids kind of going behind it. Not super, uh, not super fast or anything, but it's a good current of water. So if you ever want to like walk through, it, you have to be very careful. Which again, I don't know if they allow. So you know, do your research on that. And it's also a, it's hard to tell in this video. She took she shot a lot of video for this because it it took a while to do. Uh, a lot of people were coming up and just chatting with her and seeing how she was doing, and so that was pretty cool. And uh, myself and David, we like hiked down and, and see how she was doing. So it was, um, uh, so it took her, it took her a long time. She like, she left probably around nine in the morning. She didn't get back to like almost three. Um, so because of the hike and because of like the time it took to paint and stuff. So, but it was it was a lovely day, and. And see like how uh, how she's like progressing here, I'm trying to figure out the uh, the best part of the uh, the water and stuff, which is a little hard because there's again a lot of boats kind of going in and out, so she had to kind of delete the boats out of, out of the uh, the scene and the people too, right? Because you want to try to have it like cleaned up because people are just moving all around that place, so it's kind of have to be kind of careful with that. So. This is like our also our last uh, kind of like in this in the series where we're going from park to park to park on our vacation. She's trying to uh, do uh, one basically painting a park, and obviously you saw the previous one about the um, one that took place in the shoots after our breakdown, and so which that that waterfall there was a lot more intense than these ones where we, where we wanted to go, and uh, when we finally found a good place to actually paint it. Uh, Fortunately, that was of course the day we were leaving, and actually David uh, stumbled upon it actually. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. So he just kind of found a random set of stairs and went down it while we were kind of hiking one morning, and, and we found it. And so if we were going to go back to the shoots, that's if we would definitely for, try to do it again. So you just got to be careful. The uh, the volume of water that part of the shoots was uh, was again way more intense than it was kind of around here. So. But we, should, we were able to accomplish like our goal to get a painting every park that we went to, trying to find something interesting in each park. And that's kind of the, the biggest, the hardest part, was to, uh, to do something with that. Especially with some of the, uh, some of the surroundings of some of the parks. Because again, like the shoots, we didn't get a chance to really get off the trail there. Um, we just kind of painted in our, basically in our campsite because it was so raining and stuff. And you guys saw that one earlier. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes across that like in the future we like to try to do more of these, right? And have hopefully invest in some better camera equipment so we get some better angles and kind of show us some more of the parks that we go to. Unfortunately, the uh, the transmission has kind of put our uh, put ourselves behind the eight ball a little bit on that. But for us to share, we will for we will we will uh, save up so we can get some better uh, some better equipment so we can show you guys some some better sites and uh, and stuff on our future travels here. But as you can see, Andrea's doing, uh, getting the, uh, the, the right hand side of the falls here, all, uh, all pretty up here. And again, this took a long time. Like, we saw this probably in, in its infancy, and, and there's a lot of layers that she's having to put on here because it, it, once you kind of, like, you'll see it by the end there, it, it really comes out across the, uh, how much it pops out. So, so is it, so we've like learned a lot of things on this too, right? All like all the, the biggest thing is like trying to figure out how to get stuff from A to B, like the logistics of getting that wagon places. Again, most parks, like the first one we were in Earl Row, that was probably like the first big challenge we had when she had to go up that hill in the escarpment to find that tree. And this one was probably the uh, probably a little more challenging as well, just because there's a lot of a lot of rambles and stuff. So that's one of the big things we learned is trying to figure out how to get the logistics of getting stuff from A to B. And oh, that's my phone. And so those are some of the uh, some of the challenges we found. So hopefully, like in the future, we'll be able to uh, I don't know if plan is the better word, but figure out some better ways and techniques to get some of those spots. So we 
can keep bringing you some of these beautiful places that we've been trying to go to that we want to do a little, a little bit later on when we kind of get more chances to do so and paint because because this is what uh, this is what one Andrea's thing she loves to do is go paint it, paint the outdoors. So and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. And hopefully you guys come back. And as you can see here, it's like, here's basically the finished product right here. It's just it's kind of starting to sum it up. So we really hope that you've uh, enjoyed kind of this little talk about uh, about Tech Memnon Falls up in the, up in the upper peninsula of Michigan, again just outside of Sault Ste. Marie. And there's a good shot of, again, what she was trying to paint. You see the boats coming across and that island over there, kind of in between the two falls. So again, this is Sisters Falling, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And when, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again later. Thank you to my loving husband for narrating.